This seems like a bad idea. play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, and dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. And that's where it all went, bro. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Come on! Look at this, Billy! Look, the rat fell in the mop bucket, now he can't get out! Look at that! <laughs> he's drowned! Probably. Well, save him, Billy! He's drowning! It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs. Pooping in our cupboards. He's dying! He's dying, Billy! Secrets. Still need some sort of help upgrade. Fifty HP is not cutting it. That was the way we're meant to go. Let's see what this is first. somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. That's a good question. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> 
funny and how we, they followed me. They, they pinned me down and they took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're going to walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Star cards. Yeah, there's a lot of like collectibles and stuff around here. Which I'm not too interested in. I'm not going in the basement. That's where the doggo was. with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Yeah, well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? Star cards. This is a weird room. It's meant to be a bathroom, I suppose. Gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient? Ungrateful? Sense like a flat tire? and a mouth like a sewer. 
Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is you were broke beyond fixing. What are you, some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. You broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Direct. I just get like proper nauseated when the map goes on a tilt or something and it's like, oh, what am I meant to be doing? Just a disconnect of course, but I don't see a way out. That's
It's like you don't know which way's up. Still wearing the suit thing? The red shotgun? No, not yet. I haven't checked my upgrades. covering his mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? I think... Oh, you look like ass, man. The stupid oh, keeping... Oh, looks like you're at death's song. door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen. Uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this 
fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. Oh, it's kind of nice. If we make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Schnitt! <laughs> Gott! <laughs> Zimmermann! Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth, open, open it, that's it, huh? how does it taste? of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste? Oh! <laughs> you hear that? That's my track force. Mm. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so quiet. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. Weeks pass, or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property, aiding the enemy. Torture, terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. <laughs> Bailiff. It's got very slow reactions. You ask for death, and here it comes. Although we're now at the end. Doesn't seem like the best place to try and escape from. I'm, I mean, I did have legs before that.
Resin ink. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to find health and stuff. We need to get outside of this room somehow. We gotta shot out his spine. If this gun's the best tactic, but it's working currently. Okay, into another armory. Just grab everything, my dudes. I keep pressing him. Pick up all the ammo and health and everything else. I thought I lost you, Mom. I 
thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. Bailiff! <laughs> no. Oh, again. Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! Here at the Kinderlech, we have less than seven seconds. Okay, ready, steady, Max Bombate! Drop it! Oh. Anya, now! <laughs> Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die. Is he alive? Answer me, is he alive? I'm afraid it's too 
late. Oh, no. No. What? Brain activity! Yes! He's alive! Oh. Oh. Fucking genius oh. said that I ever tell you that. Sit. He's on! <laughs> Max is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Oh God, er ist tot. Scheiße, das ist ich. Look, look, he's awake. Hey, look at that German bastard. The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off. It's the Vlaskovich. Can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Angela! Kindle, please, I'm an officer. Please come and help me here. Now. <laughs> These are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one. Blink twice for the one in the middle. Blink three times for that over there. Strict harness will compress your torso on activation, allowing you to enter into narrow spaces. Using the harness prevents you from breathing properly. Prolonged use will cause damage and eventually death due to oxygen. Moving in crouch can this harness activates automatically when. Uh, metal reinforcement rig protecting your upper body jumps and elbows allows you to run through obstacles. That's the wild approach. Mechanical act. Actuator system that is mounted on your legs and activated on demand. Once activated, mechanical supports extend or only to access new areas via vertical covers or other tactically. Mm, this is the more stealthy one. Okay, Yingala, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm not asleep, I'm God, and you got and you got and you got and you. How you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Ketzelwe? Who's to give you? Who's to give you? Shim Shim. I am the Shim. Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so oh, happy you back. back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. It's hot! Max! 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 
feel the same way, Max. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I, I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. Okay. Now, Mr. Blaskovich, you see this opening here? Too small to fit a large man like you, right? Wrong! The constrictor harness will compress your torso so that you can fit into the narrowest spaces. But you have to be careful. When you use it, you won't be able to breathe. <laughs> How's that work? Yes, Mr. Blood. Yes! Now, experiment with the training course until you have familiarized yourself with your new abilities. I'd love to see, like, the third person come on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. It's going that way. It's like those yogurts you can get in a tube. Should get to work. Upgrade kit. Uh, probably just want to do this rotor. Rotor upgrade rapidly loads all three barrels. It's five free shots. It's good. I guess we'll go with this. Been upgrading my weapons. Starkard. Going down there. No. Do have to go from the other side. Other side. No, we're back here. Caroline. Thank you. Take back your wings. No, I don't want to do I don't need them thing. anymore. Remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. Your detention and public execution were the most well guarded events in television history. They're protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. And so you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When Grace's plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana. Asked me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered bodies. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farmhouse. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper. Oh, you got to see? Okay. Have you had a chance to speak to Cut it up there! Last words! My friend! What a happy day! Welcome back to the land of the living! Hi! Hey, Cheer welcome hand. back and all that, Vasco! <laughs> I'd love to pinch your cheeks and ruffle your hair, but we drop this thing. Oh, it'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? Exhaust! <laughs> I mean, I'd love to, oh, God, but... here comes the idiot. Stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. It can go boom like this. Oh, say your prayers. We're fucked now. They'll kill us all. No, 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 no. Maxos. <laughs> what in the name of ass tripping fucks has happened? Well done, Max. Outstanding. Oh, well, you're making this old Bodak sentimental, Blasco. We have to get this thing wired before we get to New Orleans. Oh, but it's right good to see you up and about again, Captain. <laughs> I thought Set's lab, Set's lab used to be by the helm. I'm guessing we have to go a different way. Let's find door number one. You asleep? Hmm? Oh, I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? 
I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? In the garage? First time you tried to rescue me. Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. That's exactly what Super Spare said. Mm. Hey. Mm. You never answered my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? Oh, the pig's still here. Unless we got a new see pig. If Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. Mm, should be down here. Is then. it true what they say, coming? We are on the way. Yep. We should have knocked first. Hey. Good to see you, Grace. <sighs> Shit. Blaskowitz, you are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There's nothing I could do. What did he say? When? What were his last words? I need to know. He said it was space aliens, man. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. He said. Oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be it. Yes, sir. But it oh got in you. Sam. Got in you. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Mm, yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blasco. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there, so that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is you ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Shh. Like a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now, before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan district. Got it. Oh, and Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. 
they ain't never gonna see you coming. <laughs>